Hi, Paul Teeple here for Coach's Corner with Everblades head coach, Greg Poss. Coach, welcome back to the Eastern Seaboard. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> it's great, great to be back here in Southwest Florida uh, and coming off an incredibly successful road trip to Ontario Bakersfield in Las Vegas. Yeah, it was a good road trip for us. Uh, we played well getting the four wins. We're a little bit fortunate in a couple of the games. We need to tidy up defensively and, and play a little more consistent. But in general, we're happy uh, with the performance. And uh, But we have a real tough Orlando team tonight, and we're going to have to uh, be better than we were on that road trip. Let's talk about the offense on the road trip, putting up five goals, six goals, and then a couple more five-goal games against Ontario and Las Vegas. It seemed like everybody was contributing. A lot of guys were multi-point nights, but it all started with Matthew Pastilli. Seven points, five goals out on the West Coast. Yeah, he played great, uh, as, as the whole line did with A.J. Jenks and whoever, whoever we put on the wing with them. Uh, they had Merrifield, they had uh, Tashkin, a couple of different uh, partners. Those two guys really combined well. Um, unfortunately, A.J. Jenks uh, sustained an injury in the last game. He will not be playing tonight, but uh, he might be back in tomorrow night. So you talked about the defense. What, do you, what is the coaching staff doing to work on the, that killer instinct almost because almost all the goals against came in the third period over the road trip? Uh, yeah, we, we, in most of the games uh, we, we got up a couple of goals. And I think that's a normal thing that happens as guys let up a little bit defensively. Um, and it almost cost us a couple of times. Fortunately, we were able to win the games still, but that's an area that we've got to get better at is being consistently good defensively for 60 minutes in overtime, whatever it takes to get the job done. And Chris, there's good last of course, up in Syracuse this past week, so Jesse Deckert takes on all four starts and comes out unblemished. Uh, yeah, I know he played well in all four games. He's very good at playing the puck, and that's kind of what Jesse needs a lot of games Right now, he, he came into camp in very good shape. He lost 20 pounds compared to last season, um, so he's got to get. He has to get used to his new body a little bit. Uh, but the best way to do that is to play a lot of games. And he played all four. And uh, looking at playing both here this weekend. And you mentioned Orlando, vastly improved over last year. What have you seen out of the Solar Bears with through a couple of regular season games? Now they have a more regular season ready lineup. Well, they have a very balanced lineup. Uh, you know, they're very talented up front and uh, also they have a good decor. Uh, it's a very good team, uh, especially compared to how they were last year. And it'll be a big challenge for us to come out tonight and, uh, and play our game against them. And the power play did really well on the West Coast after being kind of stymied against Orlando. The confidence seems to be building uh, when you have that man advantage right now. Yeah, we've had more time to work on it. Uh, <clears throat> and anything you practice, you get, you get good at. So. Uh, <clears throat> we want to continue uh, working on the power play in practice and, and also in the games, and, uh, but it's a big part of our game is uh, scoring on, on the power play. Finally, history on the line this weekend. Do you have a chance uh, over tonight and tomorrow night to possibly tie the league record for best start to a season with eight straight wins? Is that on your mind? Is it on the guy's mind at all, or is it all just tonight? It's all just tonight, and our main focus isn't even, isn't even on winning or losing the game. We just want to play to the best of our abilities and in the end of the day, that'll give us the best chance to win the game anyways. Uh, so we just got to come out and have a shift by shift mentality and, uh, and really uh, play well without the puck. Well, coach, thanks a lot for your time. Good luck tonight against the Solar Bears. Thanks, Paul. That's the coach's corner. Thanks for coming out tonight and enjoy tonight's game against Orlando.